take a deep inhale in and exhale out. Another deep inhale and with each breath in, notice a light floating and drifting sensation. And as you exhale out, feel and allow the tightness and any dark areas as they begin to release from your body. Just give them permission to allow this release from your body and mind. Unwinding in serenity wraps over you. As your worries melt away to a space more peaceful, more serene, giving yourself this time now together to open your mind and loosen your body into a deep relaxation. Here, you do not need to judge or overthink what is happening. Just simply let go. Together, we will create a safe and secure state of calmness for your body. And your body will release feeling limp and loose and any thoughts that may be circling around in your mind. You can just visualize or imagine yourself blowing those away. You can just imagine yourself pushing those away off into the universe. You can think those thoughts later, but now you've committed this time for yourself You've committed this time for your deep relaxation and calm. Going deeper. I want you to count backwards from 33 to zero. And each time you hear the bell, see the number in your mind disappear. Maybe it falls away into your imagination. Maybe you visualize the number breaking into tiny bits of white light. Or possibly imagine it slowly fade. Maybe you'll do a combination or come up with your own imagination. Ready to begin. 33. 33. A feeling of calm and comfort. 32. 31. You may notice a tendency to start to let go. 30. 29. You are in control of how deep you want to go. 28. 27. The deeper you go, the more calm and relaxed you will become. 26. 25. This feeling of relaxation. 24, 
may notice a tendency to start releasing deeper. 23. Again, releasing deeply. 22. Now you decide if you will allow your body to go even deeper. 21. Free at this moment. 20. You may notice a tendency to just want to let go. 19. If you'd like, you can go even deeper now. 17. Unwinding. 16. Fifteen. Serenity. Fourteen. How much will you allow yourself to let go? Let go. Thirteen. You may feel like you are not entering hypnosis, but the more you feel this, the deeper you are actually going. 12. Eleven. Contentment for the here and now. This present moment of ours together. 10. Untying the tension held and untangling the knots through deep relaxation. 9. Untwisting your muscles. Eight. Allow yourself to go even deeper. Seven. Melting any stressors and tension. Six. Five. Are you comfortable? Four. Feelings of floating and drifting away. Three. Body becomes limp and loose. Two. Is your body feeling light or heavy? I'll let you decide. One, safe and secure. Now feeling this deep state of relaxation, you can double this feeling if you'd like on zero, deep sleep.
and each time deep sleep is suggested by me for the purpose of hypnosis for our session together you enter a deep relaxation of calmness quickly to this depth or even deeper and your physical body is comfortably relaxed and the mind is always in control releasing and open to positive suggestions breathe slowly and deeply perfect you are now deeply relaxed and the suggestions that you hear will have an immediate and permanent effect on your subconscious mind you will hear every word that I speak even though you may find yourself wandering away at times because right now nothing else matters nothing except for this feeling of deep relaxation and calmness that you're experiencing and as you go deeper into this gentle hypnotic rest your mind is open and receptive to the ideas that flow from your all-knowing powerful subconsciousness and awareness maintaining optimum health and weight by making food choices based on cutting-edge nutritional science that science is bringing your body to function using fat as an energy source instead of sugar excess sugar in our diets is among the most important factors against our waistline and our health and preparation is the key to being successful in your new diet plan this should be if done properly the last diet you will ever go on now you won't get more fat eating fat it's been proven plus too many people on the ketogenic diet are losing weight to ignore that fat doesn't make you fat as a matter of fact you will eat fat to lose fat on the ketogenic diet choosing only coconut oils extra virgin olive oil avocado oil or another whole fat food now visualize you on a keto diet imagine yourself how do you desire to look and feel are you strong and healthy yes of course you are because you have taken the effort to make vital changes in your diet a diet based on protein and healthy fats eating no sweets including fruits and no carbohydrates unless it's from green vegetables don't worry you can easily go back to fruits after you put yourself into ketosis for the recommended a lot of time for your body right now though you really need to stay away from any sugars your motivation for a new way of eating is knowing that some of the beneficial changes your body will go through there's just a few of those physiological changes you'll first notice an increase in mental clarity and focus and less frequent and less intense migraines studies have shown that sugar is the actual cause of migraines and likely related to the more stable blood sugar and altered brain chemistry that improves memory and cognition thinking as well and interesting cancer cells are unable to effectively use ketone bodies for energy 
That's right. Ketones inhibit, let's just say, the breeding of cultured tumor cells. Lower blood pressure, lower triglycerides, better cholesterol profiles, decreased inflammation, which, as you know, improves acne, arthritis, eczema, psoriasis, IBS, pain, etc. Improving energy levels, as well as sleep. Less heartburn and acid reflux. Less risk of gallstones. Improved digestion. Less gas and bloating. It also stabilizes hormones, which is a really important part of our bodies. More stable vision. And gaining muscle and improving endurance. Most people report an increase in internal happiness, general energy levels, and lack of cravings for carbs, and they start losing weight. Maybe you want to make this change for yourself, which means the most to your subconscious mind. Maybe you get headaches eating too much sugar, or maybe there's another noticeable food reaction that you have. But giving up those refined, sugary, reactionary foods are just too hard. Many people are addicted to sugar. And when you first stop eating refined sugars and processed carbohydrates, you may experience sugar withdrawals. Some do, some don't. Sugar withdrawals can even last a few weeks. But that's okay. You will be prepared. You might experience sugar cravings during this time. This is normal, and it will pass. Be careful about making long-range plans during this period. Take things one day at a time. You need to treat this like an addiction, and change is hard. If it was easy, everyone could do it. But you can do it. Do you know why? It's because you are taking steps in the right direction. And having made that decision proves that you are on the road to recovery. You have admitted and accepted your problem, and now you're ready to do something about it. In fact, you really should be proud of yourself because you have made the decision to conquer that obsession with unhealthy sugary carbs which is why you are listening to me right now. You are also to be congratulated on realizing that hypnosis is the method that is going to help you to become healthier. Because hypnosis addresses the concerns in that deep subconscious part of your mind. The part of you that keeps the old habit alive. Well, now you've decided that it's time to make a change to increase health to become a better version of a healthier you it's easy to blame the past but you no longer need to look to the past looking back on the past there is no need your future is planned perfectly for you by you you find your planning easy and rewarding. You already know that food is the fuel that nurtures our body. And from nutritious foods, we are actually eating energy. And we have the freedom to eat right, effortlessly. Now, visualize you. Imagine you and how you desire to look and feel. See your hair. How are you wearing it? Is it healthy? Maybe you can imagine your hair silky and shiny. Notice the vibrancy of your skin. Visualize a glow to your skin radiating from the inside out. 
Are your teeth strong and white? What are you wearing? Can you feel relaxed, calm? Feeling awake and alert with more energy? Maybe you can even feel joy in your heart. Imagine your life force inside is tiny white lights. This life force created by tiny protein and fat molecules that came from your food you put in your mouth. Watch as you take a bite of colorful, healthy, high protein food. Imagine your strong white teeth chewing into smaller pieces. Now watch as it moves into your body as vital energy spreading around your chest, your tummy, out through your fingertips, down the legs, as it ignites all of your organs and just feel your body come alive with a vibrating sensation. Here as your body says, thank you. And we will thank you in return by taking the best care of this body of ours. And you may be surprised to find that these most nutritious foods are quite deliciously tantalizing. And you can enjoy your food now more than ever, clean, wholesome foods which nourish your body's tissues guiding you to drink life's own elixir water and whenever you sense your body's real need fuel and nutrition eating those nutritious delicious foods generously supplying your energy your body needs Is your ideal image a version of you to be in shape, tighter, healthier? Since you highly value your life, your fight to be a more vital, pleasurable life of ease, inside and out, accomplishing this brings forth your feelings of pride and success. And isn't it a secure feeling to rely on your new exciting food resources? These new alternatives and new healthy recipes? You're going to find that eating the right foods is easy and actually fun. Gathering new recipes, trying new foods, and you're going to lose that excess fluid and any weight you may be carrying. Now, not immediately, not in a week or two, but over the next few months. It takes a plan. It takes commitment. It takes determination. It takes the want power to be stronger than that next sweet, starchy food. But your lifestyle is changing now. Especially as you drift deeper and deeper. When you do eat, you do so to live. That's right. You no longer live to eat. You eat to live. Food is not so important to you for enjoyment. It's just a necessity for living. And you eat practical foods for fuel and nutrients. You look forward to meal planning and all the great choices you get. You plan your snack choices, keeping snacks healthy and handy. 
and on the ketogenic diet, snacking every two hours with high protein foods, like nuts, so that you don't crash and end up in a fast food drive through So snacking is very important. Choosing whole vegetables in a wide variety of colors, high protein foods, and healthy fats. Learn to prepare your lunches from nature's artistic palette. There's no need to buy processed, pre-cooked, prepared, manufactured foods. You enjoy preparing your own foods, storing leftovers for another meal, making one meal that lasts many meals. It becomes your new hobby. Choosing organic and sustainably raised as your first choice, knowing that the price is less to pay in the long run. Mind, body, spirit. And you always shop whole, fresh foods. When shopping for foods, you go around the outside, frequently stocked aisles of the market. Staying away from the canned, high sugar processed foods in the center aisles, those less rotated foods. Staying away from ingredients that you can't pronounce, like BHA or butylated hydroxyanisole, which the World Health Organization's Internal Agency for Research on Cancer considers BHA a human carcinogen. However, it's still allowed in our foods. Remember, you have a choice, and the more you choose truly healthy and natural, not just labeled that way, the more these companies will stop the use, stop the hurting of our bodies, and stop chemicals in our planet. The choice really is yours. So, eating healthy is good for you and our planet. So staying away from sugars, carbohydrates, anything refined, chemical sweeteners, choosing whole foods. Even trying to drink a soda would be like drinking tar with all that sugar and poison. Your body rejects those poisonous, sugary products. Soft drinks, they taste so sweet now. They're way too sweet to drink. There is so much sugar in there, and you can imagine it sticking to your teeth and clogging up your system, and how disgusting that is. With flour, sugar, jam, cake, bread, candy, pasta, beans, corn, and so much more, you know deep down inside your body that these foods are toxic and taking a break from your current sugary processed diet of these burdening foods is beneficial for your whole body system. You know these refined foods would do more harm than the fake pleasure of eating them. The regret would be too defeating and your body would retaliate by some annoying rash or bloat, gas, headache, or something worse. And since you are now fit, trim, and healthy, your taste buds notice those sugary refined foods so much more, and you can't stand the taste of them. They taste toxic, because they are toxic. You know it, your body knows it, and the people selling them know it. You do find, however, that you have no desire for sweet, high-carbohydrate food or drink. You concentrate instead on feeding your body the healthy nutrients that it needs. When the fight flight of low blood sugar occurs, there will be a desire to eat a healthy snack. Drink lots of water, even with a little cleansing lemon in there. Eat whole healthy foods with protein at every meal and snack. Eat protein, healthy fats, 
leafy green vegetables and fibers, and this will all help to cut down on the cravings and allow you to feel satisfied and nourished. Get creative with the allowable foods and experiment with varieties and new recipes. You can even make healthy protein shakes with veggies, nuts, flax seeds, and a small amount of berries. You will find that there is always something better to do than eat. And you are eating less and less each day. Simply because food isn't an important part of your life anymore. Your mind is focused elsewhere, your hobbies, your relationships, your zest for living. Whatever is important for you as the wonderful, creative person that you are. You find that you much more prefer to walk or even take up a new sport. And during your exercise, your mind begins to find so many different things to concentrate on such as your new hobby of meal preparation. It doesn't make you hungry though. That feeling of hunger drives you to creativity and a new prideful feeling of detoxing your insides takes its place. And this reminds you that you really are becoming more healthy and strong. You really are losing weight and gaining health. Feeling absolutely proud now, project into the future that you are fit, trim, and healthy. And realizing how easy it was, your unconscious mind can begin now to lead you to the achievement of this goal. And every time you notice one of those sugary, high carb, loaded with sugar foods, your body revolts in disgust any problem that you may have been experiencing during your everyday life, they're resolved on an unconscious level by your wonderful, creative, subconscious mind. And because you are giving your brain healthy food options, you have more creative problem-solving abilities. And it feels so natural to you to live life to the fullest to engage in all the joys of life with vibrant energy. Your ideal image and version of you is a healthy, fitter, more vibrant one. And since you highly value your life, your fight to a more vital, pleasurable life of ease inside and out, your feeling of pride and success as you welcome this new triumphant freedom naturally in you and reaching your ideal physical form, choosing the right foods, and you follow this easy plan efficiently and with motivation. Now visualize and imagine this healthy you let it sink in deeper, taking a deep breath in and out, deeper. You will awaken with a motivation to plan new recipes, new foods, bringing in only healthy foods and easily turning away from sweets and processed foods.